beautiful children in the world, come to me this day. Come kriya lahara vatiki yahashiki to your hafakari heavenly father. Stand before me now. I am with you, my child. I am within the very fiber of your being. I created you. I love you. You are mine. I delight in thee, my child. I bring forth blessings into your life. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. I adore you. I adore you. I adore you, my child, with all of my heart, for I am your Father in heaven. I am your Creator God, lover of your soul. Lara potara besi kia hashiki ti kia hileri anokora potara besi ya hashiki ti. I am holy, holy, holy. Lara potara besi ya hashaka ti kia mokoto toro potolo hara besi iya hashiki ti ti hileri atate. I see myself standing before my Father in heaven. He places his hands in mine and we are one, united. My child, I want this to be a year of worship, a year of praise, a year of sacrifice, a year of purity. Unconditional love for your Father in heaven. Can you give me this year? Can you give me every part of your day, every part of your life in worship, in praise, in adoration? And I promise that divine order will fall upon every area of your life, my child. I will take care of all your needs according to my riches in glory through Christ Jesus, your Lord. My Father in heaven, I will give you every part of my day in worship, in praise. I want to be with you eternally. I will gladly give unto you my whole heart and soul in praise and honor and worship. Because when I worship you, we are united, we are one, one in spirit and truth. And I feel your love, I feel your beauty, I feel your glory, your peace, your tangible presence. I want your eyes upon me this year, my child. Gaze upon your God. Do not look to the left or the right. Do not become distracted. Gaze upon my beauty, gaze upon my glory. I wish to pour forth my glory, my oil, my tangible presence, let a bottle into the atmosphere. I will worship you, my God, my Father in heaven, my King. I will worship you night and day. You will walk in my peace and my love, my child. Every moment of every day you will feel my presence. Because you choose to stand before me, you choose to worship. Forsaking all others, you choose me. Father, Kalahoravasi, you are everything to me. What else is there in life but you? For you created all things. You knitted me together in my mother's womb. I am here because you, you willed it, my Lord. You designed me. You placed me on the earth for such a time as this. 
You made yourself known to me. You came to me in a dream. You pour forth your spirit. I hear your words. I see you in glory. I reveal the mysteries that you speak unto my heart, mind and soul. I'm your willing vessel, your ambassador on the earth, your witness for truth. My child, Haleriana Koto, I have chosen you both to reveal my last messages for the earth. Alera Wahashikita, you will prophesy, my children. Aleria Hashiki for 1260 days, and that is all. A little bit of a seed, that is all I will say. Pokoshiki tiki, a hashiki tiki, a hashiki tiki. Alahala, what of a seed, a hashiki tiki. This is all I wish to reveal. There will be no more messages after this. A little bit of a kokokokabashi, and then you will walk away. You will walk away from this ministry on the earth. Allah and you will leave it in the hands of the earth, leave it in the hands of the world. All my messages will be revealed in the next few years. And then you will disappear from the side of the world. They will not know where you are. Your whereabouts will be a mystery. This is your time for ministry, my children, on the earth. You will prophesy in my name. Every word which must be spoken will be spoken, my children. Do not be afraid. My Lord of Otorabasi, my Father in heaven, thank you for this ministry, thank you for this blessing, thank you for this calling, thank you for preparing us. We love to declare your words of truth throughout the nations. We love to release your messages such as this each day. Thank you for the mysteries of God. Thank you for the two million words that you gave to us, the words that are now being released in written form as well. Thank you that words are pouring forth from heaven unto the nations like rain, golden rain pouring forth. And those who have ears to hear will hear. Those who wish to listen, their lives will be changed, renewed, transformed by your Holy Spirit. Give us strength, Lord. Provide all our needs. Spiritually, emotionally, financially, physically, mentally, psychologically. Provide all our needs through your peace, your wisdom, your revelation, your grace your mercy. My child, I promise to take care of you both, for you are my maid servants, the ones I have chosen to deliver my message throughout the world. The world falls into disarray, into panic, into sickness. I have placed you in a protective bubble of my love so that you can declare these words to the nation. Lord of Yahash, I am calling forth all of my children to come to me this day, to repent and be saved in the name of Jesus Christ, your Lord. Those who hear this message will be saved, born again, redeemed by the blood of the Lamb, cleansed and set free, purified. Lord of sanctified and allowed to enter into my courts with thanks giving and praise, Haleriano Koshikiti, Liriana Hashikiti. I am inviting you all into my courts, my children, to praise me, to speak with me, to be led by my Holy Spirit and guided each day. He has made a way, he tore the veil, 
for you to enter into my love. You are not separated from me, my children, if you bow your knee before my son. You give your life to him and are set free through his blood, his death, his resurrection. Sanctification for the soul. My children, I wish to open the heavenly realms this day for you to see. I wish to take you on a journey. I see myself in a lot of paradise, in the heavenly realm. I'm surrounded by colors like a rainbow. You are clothing me in white. I see my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ before me now. I love him with all of my heart. He is beautiful. I bow before my Lord, never wanting to stand, never wanting to leave his presence again. In his presence I feel safe, I feel peace, I feel love. Beautiful child, rise before me this day, I wish to speak with you. He smiles at me. And I cannot stop smiling, for he is so beautiful. His eyes penetrate deep into my heart and soul. His eyes are so beautiful. My child, you are my precious bride, part of the bride of Christ. You are holy, you are pure, you are righteous. Through my Krahala death and resurrection, through my blood spilled for you all. He places both of his hands in mine, and I melt in his love. Come walk with me this day, my child. Come walk through paradise. I see myself walking with my Lord. Just like we are walking through the New Jerusalem. Everything is beautiful, clean. There is a stream of living water. Everything is green, fresh, alive. It's like we are going over a little bridge. A stream of water running underneath. The fragrance in the air is delightful. I breathe in the fragrance. It permeates into every part of my being. I feel so in love. I feel like I have just been married my bridegroom, God. It is like the very first day and I am so in love. And he is showing me his hometown, the place where he dwells. There are places for people to stay, little buildings either side of us. They're not very high. Only a couple of stories. There are flowers everywhere and cobbled stone footpaths. I see people walking past, smiling, saying hello, acknowledging that we are there. I feel so delighted to be with my Lord and Saviour walking through these streets. My child, you are doing so well for me on the earth. Conserve your energy. Do not do too many things in one day. 
and see do all that I have commanded you to do and rest. You have a long way to go until every message is completed. Focus on this. Focus on being in heaven with me in recording these messages for the world. I will bring people to help you, my child. People who love me dearly. People who also hear my voice and record my words for the nation. You will teach many to hear, to see, to worship, to experience my love, to fly into the heavenly realm and be one with their God. You will break the fear of death upon the earth, for there can be no doubt that I exist because I am speaking with you now. And to speak with your God is unfathomable to many on the earth, yet you are doing such as this now. You are proving my reality amongst the nations, for you cannot do this through your physical mind. You cannot speak for your God, line by perfect line. My child, so many will be set free from the fear of death because of this ministry. So many will rejoice and dance and be glad in this day because the fear of death is broken. Eternal life is real. I am real. And I am speaking to every child on the earth at this time. Thank you, my child. Thank you for recording these words to the nation. Thank you for giving me your whole heart and soul. Thank you for listening. Lord Jesus, I love being here with you now. I love seeing your face. I love talking to you. My child, I want you to stay with me. You do not have to return. Stay with me in spirit and truth, for I love you. And I do not wish to be separated from you ever again. Lord Jesus, I am your bride. And I do not wish to be separated from you. I wish to be with you night and day. In spirit and truth you can see me now, my child. As you walk upon the earth in the physical, your spirit will see me here. You do not have to let go of my hand. I will hold your hand for eternity. When you look with your spiritual eyes, you will see me right next to you. You can talk to me any time, day or night. And those who hear this message are welcome to join you. I am inviting those who are hearing this message on this day to walk with me in paradise, to reside with me in spirit and truth as well. Oh my Lord, what a precious gift you are giving unto your children this day. To be with our God, our Lord and our Saviour. My child, I want to release the atmosphere of heaven into your innermost being at this time. I want you to receive my glory. I want you to be a carrier of my glory, my presence, my love. Raise your hands this day, my child, and any person listening to this word at this time. Raise your hands. Feel my presence. Feel the heat in your hands. Feel the tangible presence of glory, like rain pouring down upon you now. Rain from heaven. I feel so heavy, my Lord, like I could fall down. There's a burning fire beginning in my belly. It is now like a flame, a flame of your love.
My lord, I let him on my body. How do you how shook I feel like it is in ecstasy at this time? Every cell in my body feels delightful. In rapture. I feel so slain in your spirit. So deep in your love, immersed in glory. My child, you will walk in my presence night and day from this moment forward. You will not move fast. You will not speak fast. Everything will slow down. And you will be slain in my spirit for the rest of your days. The more you speak, my child, the more the glory will pour out. But I want you to hold this glory within. And only when I ask you, to release my glory, must you release it. For most of the day, I want you to hold my presence, feel my love, walk in my spirit. And then at such times as these, when we are recording words, when you are ministering to the nations, the glory will pour forth upon the land. But do not speak idly, my child, because when you open your mouth, you're releasing oil. It must be released at the right time, though, my child, or the oil will empty. And you will feel empty, and you will feel not my peace and love, but you will just feel empty. So hold my glory. Come to me in worship. Come early and be filled. And then only release my glory as I command you. If not, my child, stay quiet. Stay quiet and feel my presence. Speak only now from this day forward when I tell you to speak. This is the word of the Lord your God, now and forever. Amen.